Hello everyone! In this tutorial we explain how to install Blender on Linux Ubuntu. For those of you who are not familiar with Blender, Blender is an open source and free program for creating 3D graphics and animation. It is a very powerful animation tool and recently there is a trend to couple Blender with machine learning algorithms and AI models to speed up the design process. This is the power of open source software that some companies do not understand. In the age of AI, it's easy to couple open source software with AI tools and you can significantly speed up the design process. If you want to learn more about Blender, there are a number of tutorials on this channel on how to use Blender. Okay, there are several ways to install Blender on Linux Ubuntu. The first approach is to download the compressed folder, unpack it, adjust a few things and use it. And we will use this approach in this video tutorial, which might be not so trivial for people who are completely new to Linux or new to Blender. Then the second approach is to install from Package Manager and the third approach is to install from Snap. We are going to use this first approach simply because it enables you to have several versions of Blender on the system at the same time and enables you to have more control of Blender installation files and folders and to easily configure it. This is especially important if you want to couple Blender with some AI tools. Okay, so let's start with installation. Open Google and search Blender Download Linux and then go to this download website and here you can simply click on download blender 4.3.2 and if you click here a file will be downloaded this is a tarball archive and i will explain how to uncompress it another approach is to go back and to search blender install linux and you will be directed to this website and over here they suggest you to download the file. However, for example, if you click here, you will be read, you'll be actually directed to the same page. And I will also provide direct link to this direct download web page, that is to this web page over here. Okay, now let's verify that the file is downloaded. So click here go to the downloads folder and you should see this blender file. Here it is. The next step is to decompress this file. Next, open a terminal. And over here, I'm going to resize the terminal such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time, you can follow the commands that I've written over here. First of all, let's go to the home folder. Then let's go to the downloads folder. You should just type downloads and over here list the content and you should see this file over here. So let's decompress the file. To decompress the file, you need to execute this command. This will call the tar and you need to specify xvf. X means to extract, V means to show the files while they're being extracted, and F means to specify the file. And then over here you need to copy this name and paste it over here and press enter and it's going to take a while to extract this archive. After the archive is extracted we actually need to do several things but let's wait. So let's verify that over here you see this folder. Let's navigate to this folder to verify that it's not empty good it's not empty and if you want you can simply start the blender from this folder that is you can just for example type this and the blender will start however i don't suggest you to do that that is to keep this folder inside of the downloads folder and also you would like to create over here a link to the blender executable that is if you click here you should be able by typing Blender to start Blender. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Currently, I adjusted several things such that Blender appears here. However, I will show you how to do that in the sequel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder in my home folder and I'm going to copy Blender folder to that new folder. So let's go to the home folder and let's create a new folder called software. My suggestion is to store 
all the programs that you manually install in this home folder. Then let's copy this Blender folder to this software folder. To do that, you just need to execute this command. And I will explain this command thoroughly. So what are you doing over here? You're moving. I have to correct myself. We have to move, not to copy. So keep in mind that we are moving this folder from the downloads folder to our software folder. Consequently, you need to specify the complete path to the source folder. And here's the complete path. It's in the home. This still denotes home. Then it's in downloads, then Blender, name of the folder, and you're moving it to software. So let's execute this. Good. So let's verify that Blender exists in the software. So type software. Let me press this and over here you should see the Blender folder. And let's verify that we removed from the downloads folder everything except the file. Here it is. Good. Let's go back to the Blender folder. Let's go again. Let's type this software software and you can actually use tab for auto completion and that's what I'm doing and all the files are over here. Good. The next step is to create a graphical shortcut such that we can start Blender by clicking here and searching for Blender. So let's do that. To do that we need to go to another folder. For that purpose open a new terminal and the path to this new folder is given over here. So type this. This command will, will lead us to this hidden folder dot local share and applications. And over here, this folder should be empty. Inside of this folder, we are going to create a shortcut file. And to do that, you just need to create a file like this, blender.desktop. The command for creating is sudo this means that we need to sup we need super user and over here the editor is none or you can use any other editor and let's start enter your password and over here to save time i'm going to simply paste the content of this file and i'm going to explain it line by line and explain you how to write it. First of all, you need to say that this is a desktop entry. This means that you will add it in show apps. Then you need to specify the name. The name of the program is Blender. And here you need to specify the executables. That is, you need to specify the absolute path to the Blender executable with this additional parameter. So how to find this additional path? Namely, if you go to this Blender workspace folder, here is the executable. So what you need to do is just to do pwd, then copy this path, go over here, move the mouse here, erase this, and then let's just specify the complete path. Here it is. Good. So now you're saying that the executable for the shortcut is given over here and the file name is Blender. That is, this is the executable. Let's now do the same thing for the icon, that is, for the graphical representation of Blender. Again, you just need to copy the absolute path to this file and to enter the file name. The file name is blender.svg. SVG is a graphical file and you do the same thing. Then you specify terminal phase, false, then the type is application, prefers non-default GPU true, then you specify these parameters, you specify categories, meme type, and startup. Actually, everything here is not so important, and you can even try to run Blender without this. However, you should add these files. Now, how I found all these things? Well, if you, if you want to learn more about the desktop files, you can find a very generic and general desktop file in the workspace folder of Blender. Namely, if you open this file, this is the desktop file that comes together with Blender. However, this desktop file is not adjusted for the path. And over here, you can completely erase all these things, basically all these comments, 
and the most important part is the part over here executable icon terminal type and other parameters however here of course i adjusted the path and that's why you see this file and this that's the main idea for creating this file so let's save this by pressing ctrl o and then ctrl x and that's it let's verify that the file is here it is and that's basically it now what you can do you can simply click here search for blender and bang blender will start and here you are you can start using blender you can start modeling you can do all sorts of things okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons also on my youtube channel there are more than 900 free video tutorials covering different topics such as machine learning ai 3d modeling 3d cad programming robotics and control that's all and see you in the next video tutorial